if you guys are having a good time tonight, make some noise. All right. My name is Kevin Ridgway. I'll introduce you to Kristen Johnson, otherwise known as Lady Houdini, here in just a few moments. But first, we're going to get you guys all warmed up. To do that, I just need you to follow some directions. Start staring directly at the center of the spiral. Do not look at the edges, do not look anywhere else, only stare directly at the center and try not to blink. But if you do blink, quickly refocus, finding yourself getting lost inside this rotating tunnel. You guys are doing great. Counting down from five, four, don't look away, don't blink if you do, quickly refocus. Three, two, one, zero. Now look at my head. If you did not do that the first time, you're wondering what these people are laughing about. I'm going to give you one more opportunity. If you did it the first time, the second time is even better. So go ahead and rub your eyes. I know you're not exactly sure what you just saw. And if the person sitting next to you did not try it, hit him in the side. This is your last chance. Here we go. Start staring directly at the center of the spiral. Do not look at the edges. Do not look anywhere else. Only stare directly at the center. Once again, Try not to blink, but if you do blink, quickly refocus, finding yourself getting lost inside this rotating tunnel. You guys are doing great. Counting down one last time from five, four. Don't look away, don't blink if you do. Quickly refocus, you guys are doing great. Three, two, one, zero. Now look at my head get smaller. <laughs> Give yourselves a big round of applause. Very well done. I think we have some Beetlejuice action happening on the second one. Now it's time for me to introduce you to the star of the show. Put your hands together. Welcome your Lady Houdini, Kristen Johnson. How are you? Good. We need a volunteer to help Kristen out with her first stunt here tonight. Can someone help us out? Uh, uh, how about we need girls in the front? Will you help me out? Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, come on, come on. It's only a 30-minute show. <laughs> Just duck right under this rope. Watch your step. What's your name? Kaylee, nice to meet you. Kaylee, Kristen. Kaylee, what we have here is a straight jacket. Kristen's gonna slip into it. Together, you and I are gonna strap her in. So you start at the top. Take that strap, place it into the buckle. Pull it back the opposite way as tight as you can, Kaylee, and buckle it. Awesome, you get the third one, I'll get the fourth one. You're doing great. Awesome. Now, Kristen's going to cross her arms. There's a strap here, a buckle way over there. Then pull that strap back towards me as tight as you can. I'll squeeze her. I'll tell you, I'll pull you buckle. You ready? There we go. All right, one last strap right down through here and into that bottom buckle and just pull straight down. Awesome. Now, Kaylee, would you say Kristen is pretty secure? I think so, too. Let me give Kaylee a big round of applause. Thank you so much, sweetie. All right, let's get Kristen all situated here. And right about now, some of you are probably starting to realize what's going to happen next. Oh, 
Rodney, just show it off. The world's premier female skate artist, give it up for Kristen Johnson. One more time, Kristen Johnson. And that's just the beginning of the show. She's got a lot more in store for you. Now, we messed with your eyes a little earlier when you saw my head growing and shrinking. Now we're gonna try to do something with your hands, which means you're gonna need both hands free. So if you have a drink in your hand, a corn dog, or even a small child, set them down very gently. And everybody, both hands out in front of you. Everybody, both hands out in front. Here we go, thumbs down, palms out. Cross the hands over. Lock your fingers together, put your thumbs straight down, thumbs straight down, man, very good, very good. Now, wiggle your thumbs, wiggle your pinkies. Go like this, now go like this. <laughs> now go like this. My favorite part is watching you look at the person next to you. I can only assume you're wondering, am I the only one who can't do this? <laughs> well, let me tell you a little bit more about Kristen Johnson. She's recognized as the world's top female escape artist. She's been featured on the Travel Channel, on the Discovery Channel. You might have seen on ESPN Sports Center, Inside Edition, Fox show called Masters of Illusion, and just last month on the hit ABC show, To Tell the Truth, welcome back to the stage, your lady Houdini, Kristen Johnson. You definitely want to stick around for the end of the show when you get to see the world's only full view water torture cell. However, before we get to that big escape, Kristen has another one planned. And for this one, she's going to go out there, find someone interesting. Shouldn't be too hard to do here tonight. <laughs> Working her way through the crowd. I see the adults trying to not make eye contact. <laughs> And who do we have here, Kristen? Pierce, how are you? Very good, nice to meet you. Step right here. We're gonna dress you up just a little bit. Gonna slip this jacket on for me. There you go. How's Pierce look? Woo! All right. Now, Pierce, who are you here with? Okay, very good. Is, it, is that a girlfriend? Just a friend here? Okay, what's her name? Rachel, you got a phone? Definitely get some good photos and videos, okay? Now, Pierce, Kristen's gonna give you a long piece of rope. I want you to pull on it. Tug on it, make sure it doesn't stretch, make sure it doesn't break. Trade right off for that shorter piece, check it out. If you're happy with it, Pierce, please tell the audience that is good, strong rope. All right. Now, Pierce is gonna get some instructions from Kristen. He's gonna start tying her wrist with the rope. He's going to double knot everything, making sure all the knots are nice and tight. Pull really tight, you're not gonna hurt her. Double knot right on top. Perfect. Now you're gonna secure both wrists together, another nice tight double knot. Pierce, make sure the knots are as tight as you can make them. If she escapes too easily, Pierce, the audience is gonna blame you. <laughs> and cinch it down as tight as you can. Now, moving on to this longer rope right around Kristen's neck. And kids, please do not try this at home. Go to someone else's house. Just kidding, parents. Okay, let's get a second knot. Okay, you ready, Pierce? Pull nice and tight. Pierce. You ready? Tight. There you go. Now take your end, pass it across your arm to the back like this. Reach through there, pull it back towards the audience. There you go, put it right through here, right through here. There you go, pull nice and tight. One more time around the back, through the hole. Then hand me the rope. Make sure I'm tying your real square knot. No funny slip knots or even a granny knot. Good square knot. Pull nice and tight. Okay, hang on to your end. And a nice tight double knot, Pierce. A little bit tighter. <laughs> a double knot. And Pierce, just for good luck, a triple knot. He's going for it. Pierce, there's no way she's gonna get out of this though, right? I, I don't see how. But you're gonna have the best seat in the house for this escape, because I would like you to stand right inside the circle of cloth. Standing right inside the circle with Kristen. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
excuse me one second, uh, Rachel. <laughs> um, slow down, Pierce. <laughs> Pretty sure she got that on video. <laughs> now, there's a couple of rules. One, keep your hands down by your sides at all times. Two, give the odds of cheese a smile. There you go. Kristen's record on this particular escape is 11 seconds. She's up to about six, seven, eight. That was fast. And Pierce, where's the jacket? Whoa! Come on, it was better than that. Not only is the jacket missing off of Pierce, not only does he have that stunned look on his face, but the jacket is now on Kristen underneath the ropes. Pierce, check this out. Is that your triple knot? Yes, it is. Is that my square knot? Check her wrist out any way you like. Are they tightly secured? And Pierce, please tell us, is that jacket underneath the ropes? Yes, it is. Give it up for Kristen Johnson. <laughs> Slow down. You got to start in tighter. Usually it takes a little bit longer to get her out of this mess. And after the show, a lot of you folks are going to be looking for Pierce, asking him what happened in there. And guys, I can guarantee you, he has no idea. <laughs> and then work on that arm. At some point in time, you should probably make sure you still have your wallet. <laughs> he checked. And Pierce, this round of applause is for you, sir. Thank you very much. Keep it going for Kristen Johnson. If you want to find out more information about Kristen, check her out at ladyhoudini.com. Also, all the different social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all hashtag at Lady Houdini. Check out some of the crazy stunts and escapes she has done all around the world. One you do not want to miss. Simply Google water torture cell albino alligator. That's where you'll see a video of a very rare three and a half foot albino alligator inside the water cell with Kristen, shot with an underwater camera. You feel like you're in there with both of them. Pay very close attention. You'll notice that the alligator's mouth is not tied or taped shut in any manner. After the show, Kristen's going to be down front hanging out with you guys. Come on up. Maybe ask her a question about something you've seen here tonight, get your picture with her, or she has posters available right after the show. She's got some pretty nice custom handcuffed jewelry, necklaces, keychains, and little twists on the famous hangman game. Instead of the regular stick figure, of course, her hanging upside down in a straitjacket, and the answer, of course, is escape artists. These will be available right after the show. <laughs> Bricks, sturdy, heavy, hard, smooth, rough, narrow, wide, ignored as ordinary, yet formed with ancient skills. Bricks offer security without aggression. White to black, rose to cream to gray, touches of purple, magenta, vermilion, the history and moods of earth are revealed in, by their presence. Used for strength, yet brittle, bricks shed chips when tumbled, but last centuries stack tightly. They stand steady, offer the pleasures of earth, a sense of time, rarely intrude, simply wait for the observer's eye. Finale. <laughs> Harry Houdini made the water torture cell famous over 100 years ago. September 21st, 1912 was the very first evening that Houdini unveiled his very famous water torture cell. From then until today, men all around the world have attempted this very dangerous escape, but only five women have ever done so. Kristen Johnson is currently the only female anywhere in the world attempting the water torture cell. Additionally, she is the first person in history, male or female, to ever attempt this escape in full view. You see the traditional way of doing the water cell is they would always cover the tank with a curtain. 
They would peel the curtain back so you could see the escape artist struggling. Then they would cover the tank again. When they uncovered the tank for the final time, the escape artist would be free, but you would not have seen anything, and that is not how Kristen wants you to experience this. So here tonight, you will see the world's first and only full view water torture cell for the first time. You will be able to see the escape artist from beginning to end. 140 gallons of water. This tank weighs just over 1,400 pounds. And what you're about to see here tonight is the real deal. This is not a magic trick. This is not an illusion. It's a true stunt or escape. Tonight, Kristen's going to be bound by some pretty serious hardware. Around her ankles will be Smith & Wesson and 1900 leg shackles. These are typically used in a county jail system and they are not very comfortable. Around her wrist will be Smith & Wesson M100 handcuffs used by over 95% of the police officers in the country today. Once Kristen drops into the tank, this metal lid will be secured on the outside with two high-security American padlocks. On the underside of the lid, you'll notice a hatch secured by a third American padlock. This is the final lock that Kristen must pick manipulate or shim if she wants to breathe again. Who here tonight could use $10,000? Okay, I'm glad to see most of this section is doing well enough where you personally don't need the money. <laughs> we'll go around for the rest of us. We offer a $10,000 reward or a challenge, if you will, to anybody here tonight who can prove that Kristen takes a second breath of air once her head drops below the water, that she uses an underwater breathing device, or that she uses a key of any kind. So which adult would like to come up here, see the tank up close, and take a shot at $10,000? You can volunteer yourself or a spouse. See people raising their hands. See people raising other people's hands. People always very eager to volunteer. Other people. Uh, let me see. Here. Let's go. Let's go this way just a little bit. Let's go that way just a little bit. How are you? I'm great. Uh, you were, weren't you? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Julie. Julie. Who do you trust here the most? <laughs> great. Leave your purse with her. Join me on stage. And we give Julie a big round of applause. Thank you, Julie. Julie, I'm going to have you stand right here on this side of the lid, right there, facing me like this. We'll walk through this one time. Once all the restraint devices have been placed on Kristen, you and I'll meet back here. We'll reach down with an overhand grip, picking up the lid by the handles. Let's try that once, Julie. Just perfect. Yep. We'll hold right here. As soon as Kristen drops into the tank, we'll lift the lid up as high as we can, clearing that lock and putting the lid into place. Next time, Julie, it will be for real. And I'll come around there, I'll show you exactly what you'll do next. You'll notice there's a hasp right there in the up position and a catch right there. Flip the hasp down over the catch, reach down, pick up the lock, place it through there and lock it as quickly as you can. Because at this point in time, Kristen is below the surface of the water holding her breath. She's not going to begin trying to get out till you and I have everything secure. No pressure. Once that's done, take one step back, watch them right here on stage. Any questions? Is there anybody else want to do this? No. Nope. You're going to do just fine. Remember three things for me. Pass. Catch. Lock. Go ahead and take out your cell phones right now. A lot of shows ask you to not record. Tonight we encourage you because you're going to go home. Tell your friends and family what you saw Kristen do here tonight, and they're not going to believe you. Now you have proof. We ask you one favor. You get a chance to simply upload a photo or a video to Facebook or Instagram so we can see it from your point of view. We greatly appreciate it. Just title it Water Torture Cell, hashtag with Lady Houdini. In fact, go to Facebook, go to Lady Houdini right now, like her page between now and the end of the show. We're going to draw two names one minute after the show. We're going to give away some free prize package, posters, even some of the jewelry, the necklaces, and the keychains. Again, sign up between now and the end of the show, Lady Houdini. When you see Kristen drop into the tank, I encourage you, in fact, I challenge you, to go ahead and take a breath, 
to see if you can hold it for as long as Kristen does, or perhaps get a feel for what she might be going through. Without any further ado, this is the world's only full view water torture cell. Please welcome to the stage your lady Houdini and my wife, Kristen Johnson. While she's getting ready, I'll make note of the two additional chains, one around the back of her neck, crisscrossing in front of her chest, one around her waist, secured together with four additional padlocks. Julie, come here to the front for just a moment, please. I'd like you to check out the handcuffs any way you like, making sure they are the real deal. Go ahead and tighten them up just a bit further, too, please. Good? Great. Thank you, Julie. Julie, let me know as soon as you have the lock in place, please. Thank you.
Come on. The world's premier female skate artist, give it up for Kristen Johnson! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kristen Johnson! <laughs> we'll give her just a second, get her breath composure. How are you doing up there? Okay, who was pretty nervous? And who was pretty sure she was gonna die? <laughs> And who was pretty sure you were gonna die just sitting there watching it? <laughs> Harry Houdini was known at doing the water cell right around 1,000 times. What you just witnessed was Kristen's 1,742nd water torture cell. <laughs> Julie, how you doing? You okay? You okay now though, right? Come right over here, you can help us out one more time. You did great. Put your right hand up like this. It's gonna go on her hamstring as soon as she's ready, like that. Left hand on her hand. Ladies and gentlemen, Kristen Johnson. Thank you very much, Julie. If you took photos or videos, we want to see them online. Make sure you hashtag them with Lady Houdini. You have about 30 more seconds to like our page on uh, Facebook. We are going to draw two names here in just about one minute. Coming up in just a couple of seconds, kids celebration right behind your right shoulder. One more time here, Lady Houdini, Kristen Johnson. Have an incredible evening. Enjoy the night. It's school time. Help me keep Williamson County school children safe. I'm Lieutenant Rodney King with the Williamson County Sheriff's Office. Here are some things to keep in mind this school year. If you travel through school zones, allow extra time in the mornings and afternoons. During the first few days of school, expect more traffic because more parents will be taking their kids to school. Yellow flashing lights in school zones operate 30 minutes before school starts until 30 minutes after school starts. In the afternoons, those yellow lights start flashing 30 minutes before school is out until 30 minutes after the school day is over. Posted speed limits may vary from school to school. Watch for children walking to school. Do not pass a school bus with its red stop sign extended. It could cost you up to $200 in fines. Remember, slow down in school zones. Let's keep Williamson County school students safe.